Well, joining me now is James Skeet from Just Up Oil and fellow environmental campaigner, Donica McCarthy. OK, uh, well, I've made my feelings pretty clear. Here's the problem I have with, it, with this Just Up Oil thing, is that most people agree with the issue that you're campaigning for. Most people in the polls think there's a real problem with climate change. I'm one of them. No arguments for that. But most people, in fact, the vast majority now, are absolutely sick and tired of what Just Stop Oil are doing. They think it's puerile, pathetic, and it's not advancing the cause one iota. Nobody is walking around going, God, they've wrecked the, they've wrecked the snooker. I must come round to their cause. Mm. Why do this stuff? I don't get it. Well, just for transparency, Piers, um, you've signed a deal for £50 million for this show. You don't know what deal you've, I've signed. You've signed a deal for £50 million for this show. You don't know what deal I've signed. With well, Rupert, does. With does. Rupert Murdoch, know? who sits on the board of Genie Oil and Gas. Um, so, just for transparency, just so we're all aware that that's what... I do position. work for Rupert Murdoch, yes. Yes, you do. Yeah. He owns okay. this network. Yes, and he has spent decades persuading the British people and... Uh, and well, let's leave Rupert Murdoch out of it. This is about the world, me asking you about the merits of wrecking regular life for Britons in this country. I don't get it. For example, do you support what happened at the snooker? Uh, of course I support what happened at the snooker. Why? Why are you laughing? I'm... Am I laughing? Yeah, you are. You're smirking. And so was the guy who did the, look, the stunt at the snooker. Look, and here's my problem. It's all a bit of a game for you guys. You regularly, get, you regularly get seen smirking and laughing. It's all a bit of fun. It's not fun for the people whose lives you're ruining. Piers, um, when the last IPCC report was released, and that's basically the sound of the world's climate mm. scientists banging their heads against the desks, basically, in despair that no one's listening to them, that made page 11 of the Daily Mail underneath two women arguing over their geraniums, right? Mm -hmm. As a result of what happened on Monday, our demand has been on the front of everything. No, your demand front wasn't on the front paper. page. That it idiot was on the front page. Millions of, spraying a millions super of table conversations, with orange paint. Millions of conversations have been elicited, and if even a tenth of them um, draw attention to the fact that this, the British government are ploughing ahead with over 100 new fossil fuel licences, opening new coal mines in the middle of the worst crisis that we've ever seen, mm. then it's a win, don't yeah. you think? So you think... No, I, I mean, don't. I don't think it's a win at all. I think, I think say, it's a massive lose, actually. I think what you're doing is alienating a public who might well be persuaded, because they show it in the polls, to come on your side. I'm glad you agree. But at the moment, they think you're a bunch of annoying twerks wrecking really? their lives. Let me bring in uh, uh, you here. I, Donica, I don't understand why you can't... Because you're, you're not an unintelligent person. I've, I've followed your stuff for a few years. Why you can't understand that this is backfiring? Why you don't get that the British public are sick of it? I, th I think what's really interesting, Piers, is that you've just spent five minutes talking about tactics when you actually said you are, you are seriously concerned about this issue. Yeah. And we would really welcome conversations on Talk TV about the issues. You said, you know, the British government is doing good. Well, actually, a report came out last week from RAN mm -hmm. about global investment in new fossil fuels. Since Copenhagen, six trillion dollars invested in new fossil fuels 15 percent came from the uk okay let me ask you so, so let, me, let me finish okay i think it's, it's a tom an issue i'm going to give you a follow-up question so, so, to that, which is no, this it, but tell me the I need tell to me the, the point. i need to finish the point tell me the, on carbon, investment. tell me the carbon emissions for the uk and then for china and russia and india britain is investing 15 percent of mm. the global investment in fossil fuels globally which according to the international energy agency according to in, 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 the in european yeah. investment bank and even hsbc are mm. saying we do not need investing seven trillion dollars over the next 10 years is a suicide note for humanity okay so Why you are we not talking so about you, that so you say uh, uh, but i'll ask you again so do the world scientists say. okay uh, yes but there is actually a very debatable uh, response from the scientists about exactly the best way to tackle this. Because I would listen to a woman, for example, on Nick Ferrari's show on LBC the other day, saying that within eight years, if we stopped awarding any licenses now, we'd have eight more years of gas and oil. And then she said we could actually sustain this country for all the power we need from wind and waves. That's what we're saying. It's, we're agreeing. It's, it's completely unworkable. So, there is nobody with a brain who has managed to work out a way so international... that that could possibly be done in eight years. Do you actually... So, so you, do you guys you are believe, living... Do you believe... You guys are living in no, cloud no, 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 Sorry, I'm sorry. You are. Piers, are you saying the European Investment Bank 
HSBC, the International Energy Agency, knows more than you. Because that's what I am saying is quoting them. I'm not saying they know more than me, no. I'm telling well, you. they are actually saying that we you... can't invest in new fossil fuels because we've got enough right. fossil fuels sensible to way, last for 50 years. In my years. estimation, the sensible way to do this is to move slowly off fossil fuels to renewable energy, yes. to make it affordable and make it practical, That's so what that we don't have to... half the country turned into wind farms. That's the sensible way to do this, right? And I'm up for that sensible debate. That's not why you two were booked on this show. You two were booked on this show because the methods that you're using, in my opinion, are now damaging your cause. They are actually deterring the public from supporting you. And again, I ask you, why do it? The why very, rick the snooker? The very, why go and chuck well, stuff at Van Gogh? Why, why, is the why go and do these stupid why things? Why is the government investing massive amounts in new fossil fuels when the IEA says we can't afford right. it? Why is the government you, saying one thing and yes, doing the opposite? You're playing what about it? My question no, I'm is, not. I'm my question core is core to this issue. Right. You're talking about a piece no. of, of, of powder, and I'm talking about billions I'm talking being about you being on destroying a, our I'm talking planet. about you being on a destructive mission to piss off the public. You know who's on and, the in my, and in my long time in the media, I can tell you, it's not going to work. The very fact that we're having this co conversation is a testament to the efficacy of these it's tactics. Not, right? It's not. I hate you guys is, say this. The fact is, you've is not been people, brought on the British because people, of your sophisticated the scientific British people, opinion about climate change. The you've British been brought people, on. You've been brought on because your idiot you friends have been once again wrecking things for people. The I've fact of the matter is, is that we're seeing that the only real leverage that normal people have is through dis disruptive tactics, right? The nurses know it, the train drivers know it, the junior doctors So why don't you go where okay? the real polluters are? Why don't you go to Beijing? Because we why need to get our own house in well, order before we go no, around you're moral, and telling people what to do. You are moral cowards. <laughs> <laughs> you're moral cowards. It's easier to go and ruin an old granny's day at the Crucible than it is to get on a plane the and go to Beijing. Well, get to the North fact of the matter is, is that we are the eighth biggest emitter historically. We have to get our own house in order before we go around the world lecturing I've asked, I've asked, I've asked you, if and I'll ask you if now... You're, if you're what talking about moral cowardice, if you're talking about moral cowardice, why don't you go to Sudan? Hang on. Why don't you go to... Pakistan, Hang on. And interview the people whose lives are dying okay, and are flooded. I wish I could, you, if you I were wish, courageous listen, and use your amazing listen, role that you've got, it's not you could be courageous. Just to clarify, it's to not it. your show. No, but shouting I do, doesn't work. I do the question. You do the shouting. Well, stop shouting at me then. Good. You haven't answered let's, let's my have conversation. Let's have a question. Let's, and good. See if you can answer it. What are the CO2 emissions for this country and what are they for China and Russia and India? Per capita, the no, emissions... Not per capita, what are the emissions? China's emissions... What percentage of the emissions in the are, world are you, are, come from China? Using childish what percentage? maths... Using childish maths is silly. Childish Be maths? Yes. That's a statistical fact. Because, no, a country that's bigger than UK what has more... What percentage of the global emissions come, are you talking about, come from China? Are you 15%. talking about production emissions or consumption emissions? Just give me the emissions. You are actually... Those are two very different things. Look at you though, guys. Here's... You're so expert in every no, part no, of it. No, I can tell you. You don't want to no, tell no, me. No, I, I want to tell you. You don't want to tell no, me because you know the answer. No, do why you're asking this question? Because you're not wanting the answer. What I am saying is China is 20 times bigger in population than the UK, so its emissions are 20 times bigger. Mm. But our investments are 15 times bigger. So when are you going size. to Beijing? When you go to, to Sudan and I'll fly, to Pakistan. I'll fly you to Beijing. When you go to Sudan and I'll fly you to Pakistan. Beijing. Can we, yeah, can we agree? I'll put you guys on a plane tomorrow to Beijing. Yes. I'll pay, right? Yes. Are you going to go and protest? I will right? go with you. You're not, are you? You're I'll not with your moral cowards. What will it actually take? You'd rather go and chuck paint at Stop being such a gammony windbag and listen. I'm not a gammony windbag. Oh, my God. I just think you guys are honestly moronic in the way you're going about this. If you want to go to Beijing, come with us to Pakistan, come with us to Sudan and talk to the... How are you going to get there? Talk to people who are dying. How are you going to get there? This is the usual... How are you going to get there? You just invited me to Beijing and I said, I'll go there if you... How are you going to get yes. there? I will fly to Pakistan. You fly, okay. So, so you, you believe in flying? What's it actually no, going that to means that's a child. Well, you've been on. I don't fly for okay. holidays, do you? Don't You've been on. Do you fly for holidays. You've been on national television. I watched this interview. Do you fly you for went holidays? on my old program, Good Morning Britain, and you, you actually said you wanted everyone to get rid of their pets. You are the great pet slaughterer. You want to fly? Let's for take a look. Let's take a look. You, do you fly for holidays? Let's take a look. You're just playing the person, not not the actual issues. You could when, be talking when are about you going human to play beings. These? As well. I mean, you you know, afraid? it's it's one thing to give up your car, but you're not going to give up a loved member of your family, which frankly is what people consider cats and dogs. Well, if we love our members of our family, if we love our kids, do you not accept we have to look after the climate crisis? If well, this you know, actually, of firstly, I want to look after my kids and my pets. That's well, that's, that's quite what shocking. I... That's quite shocking. Do you understand the level of crisis that the carbon emissions are in, currently in the planet? We well, all you think I shouldn't be looking after my children and my pets? I'm saying that to look after and love your children, you have to look after your carbon emissions. Dying in Sudan. 
and the people drowning. Yeah, Donna, just to be clarified, no one could hear you when, when that was no, airing. Uh, that was you saying we should all get rid of our pets. Do you stand by is this, that? Is this the Hang on. Is this the turn out? Do you wait your turn? Do you, do you, do you stand by that? I what, what what I stand by. Hang on, let him answer. You said that on national TV. What I stand by... Do you stand by we should all get rid of our pets? What I stand by is that you should look at the women who are dying in Sudan. Do you answer questions? Do you answer questions? I'm here to actually Is this what passes for journalism when you're not hacking into murdered children's phones? Oh, OK, so... Unfortunately, you've just committed a very serious libel because that was another newspaper, which if you were slightly more intelligent and well-informed, you would have known that allegation, which is made against me most days on Twitter by idiots like you, is actually a disgusting lie. So oh, here's it? your chance to now apologise for a disgusting lie. Are you prepared to do that? Absolutely not. OK, well, then, I would, if I were you, I'd have a chat with your lawyers after the show and see how they react to what you've said. So do you said. think we should be having grown-up conversation about... Well, I don't have well, any money. Well, I don't, think spewing, <laughs> I don't think spewing disgusting <laughs> defamatory <laughs> lies about something that I had nothing okay. to do with well, you trust is actually what I would call a grown-up grown situation. I agree. You want to talk about a grown-up hey, situation? James. You want to talk about a grown-up situation? Why don't you shut up for a minute? you to emotionally connect with the reality of what's happening here? You have a child. I'm not asking you. I've got four children. Let children, me ask you, and you don't if you could like if you could sit back. What I think you've like, said enough for the last five minutes. Uh huh. Let me ask you, Duncan. Do you stand by your claim that we should get rid of all the pets? I, I did not ever say that. Mm. I didn't mm. say it. I was actually... Th it was actually and what an irrelevant discussion. It's, 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 you, actually want you think that's irrelevant did, to a nation of pet lovers? Hang on. I, d I did not say that, first of all. And mm. secondly, trying to play the personal... Millions of people we're are dying. Not playing the personal. H have you ever watched... You want to save the, the human beings and get rid of all the pets? million people were displaced you, last year. Yeah. 60 UK families lost their houses in wildfires. Mm. There were 25,000 wildfires mm. when we hit 40 degrees. And you're not emotionally connecting with the reality of this at all. I'm emotionally because, connecting with you. Because, I think you're an absolute idiot, Because you're idiot, a multi-millionaire. Uh, you don't care. I you think, don't care yeah. about the British people. You don't yeah. care about the working class. Yeah. You Mate, care, what you're doing, what you you're care doing, about the rich. You what care you're about doing, being a what shill you, for what, Rupert Murdoch. What you're you? doing is what you silly little boys do. It just you're football. calling me a silly little boy. You silly little boy. You come on TV. A pathetic gammony man, baby. You do your, you do your little silly sound bites for come Twitter, on, and Twitter personal. goes, "Oh, look at my little hero." Whereas the rest of the public it's, watching go, "Who is this little brat?" Oh, it's those guys that jump on snooker tables. It's those guys that ruin the Grand National. It's no wonder no It's those guys that do all this stuff. Which is the quality of it. This is why you've had to. Danica, do you want to try and get in? Because this guy's just obviously. What would be really role. useful, rather than actually uh, all of us in, mm. indulging in personal attacks, is if we could have a serious debate and invite the oil companies in here, Piers. But do you understand how Can hard it is to have a serious debate when you invite have it, this kind of the, moron spewing this kind of stuff? Inviting the oil companies, the kind of the oil companies and the things. Is it complete have a complete moron? Have a constructive debate about why you we're are. investing in Unfortunately, James, you are a complete moron. Uh, what's your evidence? Would you accept that? The evidence is what the viewers have been watching. They just I'm, think I'm trying to have a serious conversation think, about the most critical issue facing moron. humanity, and you're talking about stuff from. I actually do wonder. I actually do wonder what kind of humanity would be left if people like you were the only ones left. Well, Honestly, it would be like <laughs> a place. I mean, <laughs> a, a place where you can, you're not allowed pets. That's a place not where. Pathetic. People like you are running the country. I would literally rather die. Anyway, it's been lovely catching up. Thank you both very much indeed for your time.